Hi, this is Mick West of Metabunk.org. Uh, the Chilean UFO case in this video has been solved as being uh, Iberian 6830, but some people are still having a bit of a hard time figuring out what they're seeing in the video because it's shot from a very shallow angle and from a long way away, so it's kind of hard to figure out what's going on. So what I did is I've uh, put the tracks of both the, the chopper and the plane into Google Earth. Uh, the chopper doesn't go very far compared to the plane, which is uh, an interesting thing to note because the plane is really going a lot faster. Uh, so what we've got, we've got these two two tracks and we can move this slider here that will show you where the plane is and where the chopper is at any point in time. So here's the plane taking off from Santiago. It gets to this point here, begins to make its turn, and at this point the chopper starts to take video. And you can see this in uh, in the video over here. The time here says uh, 13.52, and the plane appears right here around 13.52.35. So I can do that over here, 1.52.35, that's about here. So the plane is just coming uh, around this corner here. And if you just go like a few seconds further into the video, you'll see the plane has this distinctive bank shape, which I, I illustrate here as being re resulting from the configuration of the engines going around this turn viewed from where this chopper is down here. Now, if we keep going round, it completes the turn very quickly, but goes into a straight line. And what happens in the video is that they switch from the infrared uh, into visible light and you can just see the plane as a little white dot over there in the distance and then they start to follow the plane in the chopper the and the plane is getting further and further away so they're following this plane and I move the time forward here you can see the plane is going about twice as fast already as the chopper and it's just getting further and further away and smaller and smaller and they eventually lose it in the, the visible thing so they switch back to infrared and here we're at uh, 1356 here so that's 156 something that's about here. Now it's about halfway along this uh, this track here. And it keeps going. They follow it in the infrared. They switch back and forth, uh, and eventually get they get to this stage where it starts to uh, leave this trail, which is right here at around uh, fourteen zero something or other fourteen zero uh, twelve. So we'll do that. So that would be uh, two zero twelve, which is right here. And I've I've marked where the uh, the trails actually are where it creates the two contrails. And you can see if you go back to where the helicopter is back here, there's a very shallow angle of view between the, the helicopter and the trails way off in the distance. Uh, and if we try to uh, zoom in on those and overlay one of the photographs, you can see it matches reasonably well where, where it is and this is the trail of the previous one, which has blown off to the side there. Uh, and if we just simply keep going all the way to the end, the plane will make those two trails and then just keep going. And they're just about where the chopper stops, uh, stops recording the video is about here, which is at the end here. 